take a second to check out my Patreon page guys, your support is really appreciated. Enjoy the tutorial. Hey guys and welcome to the 11th Windows Phone 8 tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we will be doing canvas moving. So what we're going to do is just going to open up our um, application we made in the 10th tutorial which was the canvas app. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to add on top, we're going to right click on our um, solution, we're going to add, we're going to add a folder, sorry start again, right click on the canvas app um, and then click add and add a new folder. And we're going to call this image, well we don't want capitals, images, uh, capital I on that. And then we're going to drag over any old image we like, I'm going to use a turtle. Um, and then just going to click on my little image that we put down which we called player image and I'm just going to set the common source to turtle. So as you can see I now have a turtle on my canvas app and I can move that around and that, that is still just, just an image. Um, so now what we'll do is we will work on the movement of the turtle. So we're going to do the simple thing, we're going to drag the button down and we're going to have the button called right button and we're going to make it say right obviously that's the direction that we're going to make it move um, and then we'll just go ahead and double click on it to get the code generated just get rid of all the usual sample stuff okay so what I'm going to do is because we're moving right we're going to do the canvas movement so this is done with a capital C and you type canvas so you're not actually typing in what we've called our canvas we, we have called it my canvas but we're not typing that in so we're just typing in canvas dot and then we're going to do set and we're going to set the left and then you open it up and it says element so sets the value of the control canvas left attached property for given object so the object that I'm going to choose is going to be the player image so type in player image and then the comma is the length so in order to do this I, if I put 10 when we press the button what will happen is the image will move to the position of 10 so if we do this oh actually he might already be about at 10 let me let me see I think I might have plonked him really awkwardly at 10 already let's try again okay so the turtle is over here yeah it was just conveniently I already had it set to 10 so at the moment if you keep pressing that it's not going to move it's just going to stay in place and that's because all we've done is we've made the button set the left to the value of 10. So what we need to do is we need to first of all do another double in here and we're going to call and we're going to call this um, previous position and this will be um, canvas with a capital C dot get and we're going to get the left this time we're not going to set it so we're going to get left of player image now we don't have to do anything with that like the the comma or anything because we are literally getting its current position so then all we'll do is take out our 10 and if we change that to previous position and then do plus 10 what that will do is it will get the position that it was at and it will add 10 on each time we press the button so in theory as we press our button now our turtle should move and there you are our turtle is now moving to the right so now that our turtle moves right we're going to want to move left so we need another button I'm just going to be lazy and copy and paste my one I'm going to call it left button and then call it left and then change its click event and now we're just going to copy the exact same code but this time all we're going to do is we're going to do minus 10 because plus always goes to the right and minus will take us back to the left. So if we run the application up again and we press the left button, we'll move left. If we press the right button, we'll move right, believe it or not. So there you go, that's how we're going to make our turtle move. Um, now what we want to do is we want to do the up and down because our turtle wants to go all different directions. So I'm going to add another one and I'm going to call it the up button. And I'm going to write up on it and I'm going to obviously change the click event again. Now we're going to copy it and be kind of lazy and use some of the old code but we're not going to use all of it because we need to do instead of set left we're now setting the top. So set top with a capital T 
we're going to get the player image as we did before and because we're setting the top and we're going up we're actually going to start with the minus 10 because plus goes down minus goes up on the top so if we leave that as minus and we go back to the main page and just add another button for down sorry if I'm going a bit quick in this tutorial if it, if it's a little too quick then uh, feel free to complain at me in the comments but I just thought maybe we'd want to speed things up and see if we can get through more in each video without having to watch it for so long because videos can really drag out and that's not what I want to do with these I want them to be nice quick and easy because I remember watching half an hour videos and it's just murder um, so there we go what I haven't done for the up button is when I press up it's going to get the left of the player and then it's going to set the top to its existing left and then minus 10 so it won't actually do anything so we need to get top here as well and then our down button we'll just copy the code we had for the up and we'll set that to get top I don't know why I changed that it was already all right sorry I'm in another world um, and then we're going to plus 10 so we'll leave it as set top get top and plus on its previous position so hopefully now as we start clicking buttons on the screen our turtle should go where we want and it does would you look at that well I feel like that was successful um, I've now shown you guys how to do the movement the next video I'm going to try and do a little bit more complicated and I'm actually going to use accelerometers so the next video will be the same app but instead of having these buttons active we'll make a little drop down where we can choose between accelerometer or buttons so I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video um, thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe, check out my Patreon page, and I will see you next time.